Hey, good morning. Yeah, so uh, we still have the sun peeking through a little bit here, but we've def definitely seen the cloud cover increase uh, as the morning has progressed now into the afternoon. Nice little breeze coming off of the ocean as Hurricane Dorian gets closer to this area. The uh, Dare County Sheriff's Office just put out an alert a couple of hours ago on their Facebook page saying that uh, starting at 8 p.m. tonight, Dare County will have no access. You won't be able to get uh, into Dare County here in the Outer Banks. And uh, there will also be curfews set up for all towns except for Kitty Hawk starting at 8 o'clock tonight through noon tomorrow. And it could be extended based on conditions. So uh, something to just think about as we head into this evening. You know, we are under a mandatory evacuation and there's still time for folks who haven't heeded that warning yet to uh, get off of the Outer Banks, get inland, get to a safer spot. But uh, we did meet up with some people today who say they're sticking around. Tied down and closed for business. The Outer Banks bracing for Hurricane Dorian's impact. A um, little anxiety. Yeah, never been through a storm. It would be my first one if we do stay. Carissa Schillens and her Ohio based family planned their vacation a year ago. They made this sign ahead of the storm saying they survived it, but now they're not so sure they want to stick around. We're going to wait it out and see what happens tonight. Tonight will be the for sure uh, go if we do decide to head out or not. Local leaders say go, activating a mandatory evacuation yesterday morning. They're expecting high winds, heavy rain, and potentially several feet of deadly storm surge. Boarded up windows and doors, an easy find around Nags Head, along with people who decided not to heed the warnings. I, uh, I actually have a, a feeling, a kind of a bad gut feeling on this. And still, Mike Adams of Manio says he and his dogs are staying, taking care of his elderly parents. I live on a pretty high area of land. It's about 16 feet above sea level plus. And the house is built well, so I don't have to do a whole lot, but uh, get the generator ready, that sort of thing. For people who change their mind, there's still time to head out, but the clock is ticking. And again, the county establishing a curfew at 8 p.m. tonight for here in Nags Head and most of the rest of Dare County as well set to go through noon tomorrow at the very least. You know, they're really concerned about that storm surge both here on the ocean side as well on the sound side of the Outer Banks. So something we'll definitely continue to monitor here uh, throughout the rest of the day and into tomorrow with continuing coverage both on air and online. We're live in Nags Head, Anthony Sabella, News 3. Breaking news now just into the News 3 newsroom. A voluntary evacuation order is now in effect for the city of Portsmouth. So if you live in Zone A, you should get to higher ground until Hurricane Dorian has passed. Now the city of Portsmouth is opening up an emergency shelter for people today at IC Norcom High School. If you don't already know what your zone is, go to WTKR.com. We've posted the link there so you can type in your address and see your designated zone. And if you're one of those people who needs to evacuate, that shelter just opened up in Portsmouth. And that is where we find these three reporters, Samantha German. You've been in Portsmouth all day, Sam. So what have you seen? Hey guys, well, we know the city of Portsmouth is known for its high flood levels, and right now city leaders say they're expecting some strong storm surges to hit this area. That is why they're taking action now. If you take a look behind me here, you can see these buses pulling off now. They're lined up, and they're getting ready to head out uh, in various points of the city of Portsmouth here. About 20 locations. People will be picked up here, and they're going to be brought back to the shelter from noon to 730 today. So if you have to come here to the shelter, this is what you can expect. City leaders say they will have medical needs stationed here for anybody who is oxygen dependent or really needs fine tuned care. Officials say the shelter is a very secure and concrete structure set up to get people out of the elements and out of harm's way. The shelter will be providing meals, showers and bathrooms. There will also be a space for your pets. These storm winds um, are going to push us if they get in excess of 50 miles per hour. They're going to, you know, hinder our operations as far as how quickly we can get to somebody that's in trouble. So if there's any doubt in your mind that you have to, you know, evacuate or, or you're going to be overcome with floodwaters, we want you to evacuate now. And again, right now we're here at Norcom High School. This is the only shelter that is open right now in the city of Portsmouth. However, city leaders say um, Wilson High School and Churchland Middle are both stocked up and ready to go if need be. Live here in Portsmouth, Samantha Dorman, News 3.